We are set to go. Evan McPherson to do the honors, and we are underway from Cincinnati. Taken at the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. So here are the Steelers now to take over for the first time. They'll be led out by a first-round pick back in 2021 from Ohio State. It's Justin Fields. The secret to his game and his success, incredible chemistry with each and every one of the guys who catches passes with him. And not only does he ask them to stay after practice or meet him before practice, he actually demands it because he knows if they have that kind of chemistry built up, they're going to be hard to beat each and every ball game. Fields throw brought in by Austin. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. 23 yards on the play. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Now Fields. Austin is there and brings in another one. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Give him back-to-back -back catches now. That one for 16 and another first down. So we just called his name on the previous snap, and they go right back to him, Charles, for a second consecutive completion. Yeah, I think what we're discovering on this drive is that he feels like he has answers no matter what defense you throw up there. He reads it, finds the open spot, and is available for the completion. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. 11 more on that one and another first down. Well, only three plays in here, but really, Charles, a solid start for this offense. And now we'll see if they can continue their mission to end this drive in six. And I wonder if their play caller right now is reflecting on that last big play that they've had on this drive. Do you come back with something similar or do you have a counter to it to kind of show it and go to something else and create another big play? But yet another completion here on this opening drive, and he's now perfect four of four to start. Pretty solid execution here. And how about how everyone's handled their nerves? Because you know what it's like to start a ball game. You're so amped up and ready to go, and sometimes the execution isn't there. They've been flawless so far. Well drilled, well prepared, and excited to start this game. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Today's NFL, these big guys are featured receivers. They move them all over the place to try and find good matchups, and they had one. They were just unable to complete the pass. They got to get it to the 21 here on third down. Again, Fields. A short one there to fire move. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defensive side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. On first down, Fields. Throw left side, taken in by Jefferson. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And yeah, that will bring up second down. Now it's Fields off the bootleg. That throw finds Pickens in the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Steelers get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Well, they spoke about the importance of getting off to a good start, and they're on their first drive, Charles, into the end zone for the touchdown. And what an advantage for them. They're already clicking one drive in, didn't need to wait to get up to full speed. We had heard about the extra time they put in with each other, trying to learn each other's skills, what they liked, the whole deal, and it paid off early in this one. I would expect them to keep firing on the next drive and keep that connection going. Boswell good with the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game.
Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And able to get this out to the 25. Here come the Bengals now to take over. And they will be led out by their rookie quarterback. Tell you what, partner, he might just be a rookie, but he certainly looks the part of a veteran NFL starter, and he carries himself like one leading the offense out there. In a lot of ways, he is advanced as a first-year quarterback, and he came in and was right at home with this offense. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That's caught by his big tight end, Mike Kosicki. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. That's complete once again, it's Kosicki. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then of course they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. Well, that one hurts. That wipes away what would have been a big play. But you and I both know coaches aren't real big on silver linings. But at least that play call was a successful one. Now the focus offensively, that goes to overcoming the penalty and making all that yardage back again. They work now on second and nine. Now the first carry for Zach Moss. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. You don't see that a ton, do you? With the cornerback coming over to the middle of the field to make a run tackle. That's someone with a ton of confidence to feel like nothing is pressuring him on his side of the field. Sees that the ball's moved to the middle and just sprints over there to help out. He ends up getting the tackle. Well played. He'll get this to his tight end, Gesicki. And he is going to lose yardage here. So that'll go as a four-yard loss on the play. And it'll be fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 18-yard line. So Pittsburgh retakes the field for their second offensive possession. And they'll be looking to make this a two-score advantage. Had the touchdown on their first drive, Charles. Hey, they can get up two scores here on the road. That's a heck of a start. And not only have they thought about it, I wonder if they visualized it. I remember playing, and they used to turn the lights out in our meeting room and run through a situation like this and say, just think about what it would be like to be up on the road and take the crowd out of it. Maybe they did some of that. Now a first down throw, Fields. Now a short pass pulled in by Washington. No gain on the play there. It'll be second down. Well, he caught it right at the line of scrimmage, and before he could even think about advancing it forward, he got hit. Great tackling, because that's what you're taught. Don't give up yards after the catch, and most offenses make a living off of yards after catch. Those hidden yards that may not go into the score sheet, but they count big for moving the ball and stretching the field. Really nice open field tackle. So the completion good for just three. And third and eight now. Oh, I see you nodding your head along with me, partner, because it's pretty obvious what they were trying to do there on the drag route. With his speed, they're hoping he can turn the corner and maybe take this to the house. But that was excellent work defensively to make sure once he caught it, he wasn't going anywhere. 
Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. A big play there on the catch and run. 36 yards. Boy, they've definitely come out of the gate smoking here in the first quarter. Whatever they've tried to run has worked. And there's another example right there. Game plan is one thing, but how about his accuracy? It's been exceptional. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. A shotgun snap, Fields. Got an open man, it's Pickens. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and it'll be second down. Harris running straight ahead. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. Steeler football here to begin quarter number two. As they've got it with a first and ten. Back to throw, Fields. Out route to Jefferson, and he's got it. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it's second down. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four at the 22-yard line. Fields. Wide open receiver complete. And in for the Steelers touchdown. Pat Fryermuth. A 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Steelers have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Well, this has been a flawless start for them. They score, they get the stop, and they score again, Charles. Complimentary football at its finest. You just mentioned how they got it done. They scored. The defense got the ball back for them. They score again. That's the way you win ball games. Extra point put through by Boswell. And it's now 14 to nothing. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And this taken in at the goal line. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. Cincinnati coming back onto the field here for their second drive. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. So give him two yards there on the completion, and that'll make it second down. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part catching the football right whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it comes together with the legs in this case the feet did a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch and a great job by our crew on the camera shot love when you see the grass or on the field turf those rubber pellets flying up great catch okay let's let's decide here he was open right not extraordinarily open but open enough that if you're an nfl quarterback yeah you've got to make that throw right yeah. that's got to be complete nine times out of ten that's a completed pass yeah uh, he missed that one and missed it in a big way the play action fake they'll look to throw 
And that will be incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Two drives won't tell the story of this game, but you absolutely have to like how this defense has played thus far. They have yet to allow this offense to get untracked in this one. On now to punt, Brad Robbins. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. Now Austin. They'll call it a punt of 44 yards. The return was for seven. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. The offense set to get going. Justin Fields bringing him out at quarterback. The last series, the ball never hit the ground. Six to six, touchdown pass. So whatever he did then, do it again, right? Yeah, it reminds me a lot of when I watched the best quarterbacks throw seven on seven, or even routes versus air. They're accurate. The receivers catch it. The ball never touches the ground. Or if you want to take it to basketball, a well-executed fast break, right? Pass, 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 finish at the rim. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. There for the sack, B.J. Hill. That's a step in the right direction defensively here because you're facing this sizable deficit. They're going to need more plays like that. A good sack, though, good effort there. And what you're hoping is, as you said, a step in the right direction. And that means it's something to build on. So you get the first one, and hopefully that can ignite them. And now they can make a few more plays and get back into this game. Short completion, just four yards. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. The decision to tuck and run gets him three, but that's not enough. Now it's fourth. Well, there were a couple of extra defensive backs in the game, so he really had nowhere to go with the football despite his search for an open receiver. So he has to take off and run for it, but he comes up well short of the line to gain. Here's Cameron Johnston now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. Here's Jones. 44-yard punt, return of nine. And the Bengals take over first and 10. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. We'll see if they can do better here on this drive. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. It's picked by the linebacker, T.J. Watt, and he'll bring this one back to the 29. That time defensively looked like they showed quite a bit of pressure, but backed off, and it proved fruitful. They get the pick. He went through all of his rules about getting rid of the ball quickly because he read blitz. He saw all those people stacked at the line of scrimmage, and then they fooled him by dropping into coverage. Now he's ready to get rid of the ball fast, but guess what? Too many defenders out there, exactly as you described, an interception. They'll fake the handoff, now Fields. Pass incomplete. Well, they certainly knew their challenges. This series began, and they got a stop on play number one. Goal now, get two more stops and limit the damage to a field goal. It's showtime, baby. Get up. Here's second and ten. To throw his fields to Jefferson on the slant. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Well, they were handed great starting field position on this drive, but now they face a third and four. And this one right back into the hands of Jefferson. And he will have a Steelers first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. 
And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. So not quite a first and goal just yet as they come up now second and inches. Here's Fields. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. Justin Fields taking it in from seven yards away. And the Steelers take a three-touchdown lead. If you're going to play quarterback in the NFL, you've got to have great vision, and you've got to remain calm when things break down in the pocket. Both of those traits were on display there. He surveys the situation, sees the middle of the field open, so he's just going to step up and take it himself. Very well done there. Boswell good with the extra point, and it's now 21 to nothing. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it was all capped off by the Justin Fields touchdown run. He took it in himself. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. They'll wind up getting seven on the play at its second down. They'll set up to throw. Pressure comes and the Steelers take him down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Three scores down, not even a halftime yet. They are not getting much generated offensively. They've got to figure it out. It's tough because this, this defense just seems to be playing with so much confidence right now. They really are. They are on their toes, and they are getting at them. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. I haven't met a quarterback yet that didn't enter the league with a massive chip on his shoulder if he wasn't a first-round pick. They want to show the league that they made a big mistake. Determined to get the first down there, no hesitation at all to tuck it and go. I bet he would have tried running through their entire defense if it meant reaching that marker. They'll run on first down with Moss. And a decent gain there as that takes us to the two-minute warning. Second and three. Throw left side complete to Chase. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. 
They'll look to throw now on first down. That to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. He'll look to throw. That one taken in by T. Higgins. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Back to throw again. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 19. The Bengals' passing game finding a rhythm. They've got another first. And I don't think there's any question that this offense is going to need to hit on a few more plays like this. It's been a difficult first half for them, to say the least. And I do believe if they want to get back in this game, they need to start right now. It's kind of like making adjustments. If you try and wait until the half, it's probably too late. They need to get going right here. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half, but the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here. It's a good game, baby. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Touchdown, Bengals! Mike Gesicki from 19 yards away. And the Bengals get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. So on this drive, the rookie leads him into the end zone, Charles, and that helps cancel out the points that were created on the previous drive when he threw the interception. Yeah, let's give some credit to this rookie because instead of hanging his head after his mistake leads to a touchdown, he comes back out and he's firing and made up for it right there. A well-executed series that helps reestablish some confidence in him to run this offense. Extra point by McPherson, up and good, and they'll cut the lead to 21-7. To the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Steelers taking over now late in this first half. And with a two-score lead already, they may just look to get this thing to the locker room. On first down, it's Fields. Throw left side, hauled in by Pickens. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Fields now to throw. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Out of the gun, Fields. This one finds Austin out right. The Steelers signal for the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. <laughs> 
Fields throwing again. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Here's Fields. And that'll be off the mark too far out in front, and it's incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Now Fields. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Here's Cameron Johnston now as he'll kick it away for the second time. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. And a fair catch called for and made at the 12-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And control of the football switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. The Bengals drive about to get going. And with eight seconds on the clock, really not a lot of time to try to put anything together. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. So we've reached halftime here with the visiting Steelers out in front. Getting through the break at record pace and right back to football. Third quarter, here we go. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. The Bucs set to get the football first, and they trail here as we get started in the second half. On the return, Williams. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. The Bengal offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well and they've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit, and he gets a small gain on the play. Second and five. Uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you're definitely going to find out how he handles adversity. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll try and run for this with Moss. And he's got a Bengals first down as the tackle made just shy of the 40. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and 10. Back to throw. It connects quickly to Jamar Chase. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. That pass is completed because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Now an open man. That's the tight end, Gesicki. It's complete. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. 
throw one to him every so often, but more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. Yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And he couldn't get that one to his man. Short of him, it's low and incomplete. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. They'll drop to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. Five yards that time out of the scramble. But now they're looking at a fourth down situation. Thanks to his effort, they now have a big choice to make here. He just ran them in the field goal range with that one, so here come the choices. Do they kick it here, or do they trust him to make another big play and possibly get a first down? Ready, Still play. just the third quarter, but they've got to make something happen. I think they know that. They're going for it on fourth. Back to throw here. That is caught. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. A little bit of extra pressure, but he overcame it. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Open man is chase complete. And he's taken down at the seven after a gain of seven. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. They'll set up a throw. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by DeMonte Casey. And the Steelers are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. They were well aware of the scoreboard as they went into halftime, and they know how tough it's been to put up any kind of points. But if there's a positive after that play, is that they were able to take a shot at the end zone on their opening drive of this half. The negative, though, that shot at six ended in an interception. And we know that's not going to jumpstart this struggling offense. Time for the Steelers' offense now to get set for their first possession of half number two. And their defense just helped them out by getting the football back on the opening drive here of the second half. And now can the offense follow through with points on their first possession? And that's a big one for them because after the work the defense has done, they've got a chance here to open up this lead. Now a first down throw. Fields to Jefferson on the slant. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Complete. Jefferson the target. Seven catches for him now in this last one, a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there, keeps the sticks moving. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Back to throw, Fields. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Oh, I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. So second and 10, third quarter. Thanks for tagging along with us here from the Queen City of Cincinnati. And throwing again is Fields. And an off-balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Off play action, Fields. He'll let it fly for Austin. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off by Von Bell. And the Bengals are going to have it here as they'll start at their own 24-yard line. So a potential momentum shifter there, working with a two-score lead third quarter, but that 
Not the smartest of throws. I would agree with you on that one because this game is still very much in the balance. It felt pretty one-sided to this point, but now if these guys can turn this turnover into points, things could start getting a little more interesting. The Bengal offense now gets set to head back out onto the field. And the last time out, they had the good drive going. You get in the red zone. They throw the interception. Not their first pick of the game either. So we'll see if they're more careful, more cautious here on this drive. Yeah, nothing worse than repeat mistakes, right? You end up coughing the ball up. You end up throwing a pick. Everything goes awry. And now, points don't go up on the board. I just heard a fan scream out. I thought the idea was to score points. Yeah, they're getting a little restless, too. A gain of three, second down. I think if they want to start getting back into this game, it behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. And they'll come up on a second and seven from the 27. On the counter, this is Moss. And he'll get a couple up to the 29. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Oh, the motion comes too late, and this is going to be a delay. Delay of game, offense. Oh, no! Now, the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Still third down. Delay of game penalty. Ships them back five yards, makes it third and ten. On play action, they'll throw. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. The Bengals bring out their punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. Forty three yards on the punt return of four and out will come the offense as they take over and Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. This is sort of what you would call a put away drive is it? they score here especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on. You think you can take the spirit away from another team that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter but you just get that feel. Yeah they're teetering right there on the brink aren't they. And this defense able to plug him up there as he'll get a yard to the 35. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. They'll send the big tight end in motion right. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Now second and nine. Back now in Cincinnati. Here's Fields now on second down. It's Steeler football, and they have the lead as well as we begin quarter number four. And that falls to the ground incomplete. Well, a nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Throwing on third down. Fields throw left side taken in by Jefferson. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. On first and 10, here's Fields. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 
Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. He's starting to fall into the category of not fair because when he's on target throwing the ball, he's dangerous. But when you add in his ability to make plays with his feet, <laughs> almost impossible. Well, yeah, exactly. They've had trouble stopping him in the secondary. This time they've got the great coverage. Oh, he can run too. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here in this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. To throw his fields. He finds Pickens over the middle. Five yards, now it's third and five. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. It, he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, I, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. They snap it to Fields. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. A gutsy call. Turns out to be a good one, though. First down on a pickup of 11. Now it's Fields. That's swung out wide to Harris. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. Well, normally you might say start running the football. You've got the lead here in the fourth quarter. But the way that they've passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? In this stage of the game, you would think you would switch to a running attack. But you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well throughout the game. And trusting this quarterback, I think he continued to do so. Now Fields. And that ball is caught by Washington. Touchdown, Steelers. Ten yards on the touchdown pass. And the Steelers have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Well, I've heard you use the term put-away drive, and that right there seemed like the definition of a put-away drive. Yeah, it certainly just pops right up out of the book, doesn't it? Because up two scores already, just wanted to possess the football, keep converting and picking up first downs, and if the drive ends in three points, that's terrific. If it ends in a touchdown, fantastic. Extra point put through by Boswell, and the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. From the end zone, here comes Williams. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And the Steeler pressure too much here. He's going to go down. Cam Hayward, always a force, got back there for the sack. But one thing I do know, these guys on defense, they don't want this game to end. They're winning by multiple touchdowns. They've shut down the opposing quarterback in a big way, and they're still picking up sacks as we approach the end of this one. 
They're going to look to throw. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. This has obviously been a bad loss, but one of the few things they can still do is try and throw the ball all the way to the end zone and get some points on the board so they're not shut out over the final two quarters of this game. And this offense on third down today, three for seven so far in this game. This is third and 17. He'll look to throw. They'll run the screen with Moss. And he'll be out of bounds at the 25-yard line. So they pick up 10, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. Well, they certainly had their share of troubles running the football in this one, but this play is almost an extension of the running game right here. They set up the screen, let him work out in space on the perimeter, and he turns it into a big pickup. Boy, and now they can't even get a playoff. Delay of game, Austin. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Still fourth down. On the set. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Looking deep here for Chase. And it's knocked away and incomplete. The Bengals try it, but it doesn't work out. And now possession's going to go over with a football at the 20-yard line. Well, at this stage of the game in the second half, down three scores, I guess they felt like they needed to push. And let's face it, with this deficit, if they give up another score here after they didn't get it, does it really matter? Right. It really doesn't. They had to go and try and make something happen if they had any chance of winning this game. Now a first down carry for Harris, and he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, 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 and what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Here's Fields. And it's complete. He gets this one to Washington. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14, before he's out of bounds. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Now that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. And the Steelers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and, and go like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. And he'll work his way closer to the goal line as he's got five down to the three. Hat tip to that offensive line. They're clearing some holes, even down here deep in the red zone. And that's a nice pickup on the ground on first and goal. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Oh, they go with a tight end carry. And this is not going to do it as he stopped at the two-yard line. Call it no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. Brandon, if I wanted to run the football this close to the goal line, I think I'd just turn around and hand it to my tailback. Too many things could go wrong in this situation. I think they're fortunate just to get back to the line of scrimmage. Harris will score touchdown Steelers and how nice is it to have a guy like Najee Harris in the backfield when you get down near the goal line he can use his 230 plus pound frame to just get you those tough yards and he finishes things off here with a touchdown run Boswell for the extra point and he's been a busy man five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead that time
They'll come out throwing here on first down. Over the middle, that's caught by Chase. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. He'll swing this out to Moss. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. That one good for 15, and the Bengals get a first down. And with this game well in hand, perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for a first down. But we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants them to finish this one out the way they started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft completions, no late points. He wants his lead to stay right where it is. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. It'll be a gain of 16 for number 16. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. Back to throw again. Here's Higgins out on the right side. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Even against double coverage, he found enough of an opening for a noticeable gain. Two guys on him, yet he finds a way to uncover downfield for the completion. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. They'll look to throw again. Now a short one to Gesicki. Two yards, good enough for a first. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. Again, he'll drop to throw. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. What would look like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. They're able to convert. That sets up a first and goal. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there, it's going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. So this one in the win column for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say so long from Cincinnati.